Hi there, Mr. Nelson here. And today we're going to be talking about a grip scale and using a grip scale to learn how to measure the lengths of rivets. A grip scale does a couple other things, but today it's primarily going to be used to measure the lengths of rivets. And then we're also going to be talking about measuring the diameter of rivets. So I'm going to tilt my screen down because uh, I have my grip scale located down here so you can see easier. And there we go. Okay, so when we're dealing with rivets and measurements of rivets, it's always important to remember that the diameter of the rivets is measured out in 30 seconds of an inch, and the lengths of rivets are measured out in 16ths of an inch. So uh, before, when we were working with uh, callouts for rivets, when we were looking at blueprint reading, um, if it had a six there, that would be six thirty seconds for the diameter. And if it had a six at the very end, that means that it was six sixteenths of an inch long. And again, those fractions can obviously be reduced. Six sixteenths would be three eighths of an inch, and six thirty seconds would be three sixteenths of an inch in diameter. So remembering that the diameter is in 30 seconds and length is in sixteenths of an inch. All right, so I'm going to pull this out of the way. And there we have our machinist scale. And then we also have our grip scale. And I've got a few rivets out here uh, that we're going to be measuring out. Now, a couple of things about our grip scale. This particular grip scale that you have here, this has a sliding bar on it to help out with ease of measurement. And this has uh, two different sides to it. It has a side that is in inches and it has a metric scale. What we're going to be doing in this class is using the inch scale mark on this side. So on my particular one, it's the red uh, numbers and lettering is going to be up and I think it's probably the same for you. Now we're also going to be using a machinist scale uh, to get the diameter of the rivets and to do that we are going to be using the fractional side. We're not going to be using the tenths side this time. We are going to be using the other side of our machinist scale. So remembering that and having this all set up. So I have three different rivets here. And as you can see, they're all completely different types of rivets. We have over here this uh, brass colored one with the head on there. This is called a button head. There's a button head rivet because it's going to protrude above the surface that it's um, installed into. This is a countersunk rivet. You can see the V shape there underneath the head being a countersunk rivet. And lastly, we have one that's threaded right here. And this is called a high lock rivet. So we have, and, and this actually is a rivet. This is driven in with a rivet gun. And then there's a bolt that's put, uh, excuse me, a nut that's put on the end of this. So this is actually called a high lock rivet. So we have a high lock rivet, we have a countersunk rivet, and we have a button head rivet. All right, let's start off by using our grip scale for to be able to measure the length of these different rivets. So on our grip scale here, we have sort of a notched area here on this and a nice squared side here. Then we have our scale that can slide back and forth this way. So for a button head rivet, I'm just going to put this up on this edge here and then be able to move this up like so till it hits the bottom of the rivet. So that's resting on the edge there. Whoops, excuse me. It's resting on that edge and is able to come up underneath there. Now, if I'm able to see this, I don't know how clearly you can see this on the screen, 
But when I'm counting this down, this stops exactly at the five, which means the length of this rivet, that rivet shaft right here for this button head is five sixteenths of an inch. Remember the lengths of these rivets are measured in sixteenths. The diameter is measured in 30 seconds. So we found out that this one is a five in length. Now the countersunk rivet can fit in that notched area right there. So I stick that up against the top of the notch area, and then I slide my scale up to that. Now when I take that away, this particular rivet stops right at the six. So this particular rivet is six sixteenths of an inch. So we have a six sixteenths, we have a five sixteenths. Now let's take a look at our high lock. And this also, because it is, has that notch there, we are going to stick this in the high lock on, actually, we're going to go on this side, the high, just to get the underside here. And this stops right at eight, nine, at nine. So this would be a nine, the length of this would be a nine or nine sixteenths. So we have a five, six and a nine. And obviously you can see the difference between the high lock and the other two. But when you put these two together, you can also see that the countersunk rivet is larger than the button head rivet. All right. Now, so we know that this is a five. We know that this is a six. We know that this is a nine. Now we want to take a look at the diameter of these. And again, these are we're going to be measuring here in 30 seconds of an inch. And if I hold that off to the end there, this happens to be a I'm reading that as a 5. This is a 532nd. This is a 532nd in width. If it's a 532nd, then you can go and take a look at your rivet chart. But a 532nd, where's my rivet chart? I had it earlier here. Here we go. Move this out of the way. A 532nd, there's one eight, there's three. Here's a 532nd, so again, we'd be drilling a little bit bigger. That would take a number 20 drill bit to be able to install that rivet right there. Okay, so that's a 5. Let's take a look and see what this particular one is. This one measures out to be a 6. That's 6 seconds, which is 3 sixteenths. When I go to 3 sixteenths, our next biggest down, because again, this is getting slightly bigger, is a number 10. So for that, I would use a number 10 drill bit to be able to drill for that particular rivet. So that's how you measure the length. And we're just able to measure this in 30 seconds of an inch using our machinist scale. So that's how you go about measuring the length and using a grip scale. And now you're going to go through and measure the rivets in your bag here. All right.